I just saw a post on the Tana Slack community where someone said that they had used Tana for six months and never used a super tag because they were not quite sure about the internal model and they were worried about things like migrations. What happens if I delete the tag, a field on the super tag or add one? What happens to my existing data? And I thought I'd do an impromptu Saturday morning video um, just sharing some intuition about how these works. So the basic concepts in Tana are nodes. Um, so for example, I might have a node called Stian Hoklev and I can put fields. So the way to put fields, uh, the easiest way is to use the greater than sign. And now I can add things like address and you see that it auto suggests existing fields. I'll just create a new one by escaping. One important thing to note is that everything in Tana is by ID, not by name. So if I have three different address fields uh, and I use one of them, for example, for searching or I try to group uh, my nodes by that field, uh, it'll only work on the ones that have the same ID. And that's why the autocomplete is quite useful. Uh, it's quite important. So address Milky Way 51 and I might add another field, which is like work. Again, I have a few different fields. So I'm just going to create a new one. Tana, right? So this is now just a node with some fields. The fields have an ID uh, and they have this field definition. I'll show you how that works. If I put, uh, so you might know if I do command C here and I paste it, uh, actually I can't because you can't have a node and a reference in the same list. But if I paste it here, you see I get a reference to that node. And if I start typing, it automatically converts it to an inline reference. So I can, you can shift click to open instead of yeah. Um, so you can do the same thing with a field definition. If I do command C here uh, and I paste, this is called a, a field definition. Um, it's generally not very useful. We use it sometimes when we're configuring commands and stuff. But uh, if I have a field and I command V inside it, now I know that this is the same field definition as there. So that's how that works. Um, okay. So again, this is just a node. And what we can do is we can say this is a person. So I created a new tag called person. Now, the, these two fields are not part of the tag yet. So if I add another one, Niels Borman person, we see that there are no fields because these fields, and I could add other fields here, like say interests, um, you know, football, right? But here you see we have a little trick that when you add a field, uh, on a node that already has a tag, we say, hey, do you want to add this field to the tag and not just to this person? And if I do say yes, we'll notice it pops up there as well. Uh, so now it is part of the template. So the way the template works, the way to think about this is the template is an overlay. Actually, this field was not added to this node at all. There has been no change in the data model in terms of how the information stored about Stian Hoklev. The only information stored about Stian Hoklev is that he has this address and this work. And so what happens when we're displaying this is we say, first of all, here's a node. Let me look at all the children, right? So this is a, we call these child nodes. So um, Stian is a nice guy. This is a child node. These are also ch ch child nodes. There just happen to be fields. Um, let's display those. But let's also look at all of the templates or tags um, that are applied to this node and uh, see if there are any fields there or nodes, because you can put a node in a template as well, um, that are not uh, on this node. And if so, we'll just show a placeholder. So this node doesn't exist. Uh, but the moment that I write something here, interests, I don't know, um, Pokemon, now it suddenly becomes, uh, the technical term is materialized, but basically it, it becomes created and added to Stian Hockler person. So let me just show a third one. Let's do uh, Mickey Mouse person, right? And we see that he has interests. So what happens now, I can open the person uh, template here. And what happens, do you think, if I delete this field from the tag? Um, let's see. Okay, so what happened is we still have, so actually there's two things happening here. Um, the first thing is 
you see that we took it away from the template. And so Mickey Mouse, because it had no information in this field, this field didn't actually exist on this node. Um, so it's just gone, right? Um, in the two cases where we did have information, the field is still there. It just is shown as a normal field and not a template field. There was a third thing happening, which is a bit confusing, and we might do something in the UI to make this um, different in the future. But because the field definition lived inside the first field, uh, the one that was in the template, by deleting the field from the template, we also deleted the template definition and uh, the field definition. And so here we have two fields, and they reference a field definition that has now been deleted. Um, but because so the field definition is in the trash and we show this icon but you can easily bring it back and the one way to avoid this is here if we say move to schema now the field definition lives in the schema and um, deleting any fields will not will not kill it uh, so yeah and of course we can also um, so now we can take you know address and we can add that here we can add work and now you see I'm promoting these to the template, and so they show up here. Um, but if I take them away, as you guessed, they're gone from Mickey Mouse, but they are still here. And if I write something and I take them away, then the field that I had written something in stays there, right? Now I can modify the fields. I can uh, rename it. So I need to now open it here. I can rename it. I can add the description. So this is the address field. I can change the field type. Um, this makes sense in this case. And that will, because now I'm actually editing the field definition, which is the one that's being referenced all of these places. So that's just going to update. Um, and that would be the same thing, even if I had just, you know, random node and I have this address field, then even if this is not part of a template, because these are all references, even here that will update. So yeah, there are a few different concepts to learn and I think there are certainly ways in which we could make this more clear through the UI or through the language that we use. Um, but I will say this, that the goal of that we had in mind was really, you know, for Tana should have the, bo the best of databases and the best of note taking systems. And so the kind of guiding principles is you should always just be able to type stuff down. And of course, the stuff that you type down should never get lost. And you, if you're sitting there and editing a person and you say, hey, this person needs some fields, you know, um, that are not part of the person definition, you should be able to put them there. And even if you change the person definition in the future, they'll always stay there. Um, but at the same time, we try to make it as easy as possible to have these um, common fields that will make it much easier in the future to have searches, to have um, tables and grouped views and filters and all of those things. Um, so we also, I will say, we also have some functionality, um, not good enough by far, um, to help you kind of upgrade your data. So uh, one of them is merge uh, nodes, and that can actually be done on fields as well. So let's say, and this is something that we need a much better UI for, but let's say, I had um, Pinky the robber, and here I had used another address field. So I just, you know, created a new address field, and I said he lives in, you know, the federal jail. And then I say, oh, I want him to be a person. And now you see that we have two fields here. We have the nice address field, and we have this, like, ad hoc address field. And so if I show this in a table, Right. If I go here and I say create live search and then I view as table, you'll see here we have two address fields. That's not what we want. So one way to do this, and again, it's a little bit tricky, but um, if I put a reference to the address field there and I put a reference to the other address field there and I select both and I do merge node and I can choose which one should be the target. So it's the address I want. And now we see we merge one nodes into address. And now we have the federal jail in the right field. And if we go to the search, 
people will just we actually <laughs> because it said show two uh, two address fields and then we merge them it's showing the same field twice so we'll just hide that and we see here that all the information is there so the system the underlying system i think you can you can be confident that it's quite robust it's very well thought out and it is something that's designed to grow with you and your needs for a very long time then there's obviously things that we need to do in the ui um, to make this easier to work with and that's a big priority for us um, that's a this was a long video but i'm hoping that it'll help you get a little bit better intuition about how, how tana is designed